everybody. I am Sonia Barrett, the producer of the documentary, The Business of Disease, released in 2016. And it been in distribution actually, uh, yes, since 2016. And of course you can find out um, all the various platforms to view the film um, on demand by visiting thebusinessofdisease.com. And of course its emphasis is on the fact that the cure is in the body, not in the business, and encouraging us all to take, uh, take charge of your own spirit, mind, and body. And of course, when we say the cure is in the body, not in the business, well, of course, the body is able to fix itself, but with the right support. It's knowing what that ideal support is for the body. So that's what we mean. But let the body does the work for the most part. So today, our featured guest from the film is Sherry Edwards, pioneer in the field of vocal profiling and bioacoustic biology. Uh, we'll be sharing a series, as you know, of short interviews with experts from the film. And Sherry was certainly in the film uh, and really shared some uh, profound information in that film. So if you haven't had an opportunity to view this, the film, now is a perfect time to view it. They are brief, these are gonna be brief dialogues, mm -hmm. but stimulating reminders and tools for health. So, Sherry Edwards, I just want to say that it's good to have you here again, and I'm excited that you're here to chat with us. It's great to be here, and we have new information. What was in the book was great. We're chapter five, and we talk to people about what we forgot to remember, and it's all about the ancient stuff that people have forgotten and didn't pull through to this time in history. The original name of the chapter was, Is Frequency Our New Medicine or an Ancient Mystery Revealed? And we often say that the body has the ability to heal itself. And what we want to provide to people are the tools and solutions so that they can know what they need and heal themselves. That's why since we've talked before, we created an online public workstation that people can go to online sound health portal and they can have their vocal profile done and we try to put up everything there that's happening in the u.s today or in the world today like we have a coronavirus test that they can go and get an almost instant printout so when we talk about these ideas of these ancient principles it deals with something called an otoacoustic emission from the ear. And if we can train you to hear that, your body, and you listen to it, your body will heal itself. So we've written articles about that and we want to share it. And we want to teach people to share it um, so that everybody can have their own healing from the inside out. Mm, that's pretty uh, cutting edge um, stuff that's, you guys are doing which is where we are right now and i think i think what's wonderful is that you are presenting at least right now in this moment with this talk is really making people aware that we need to move into more cutting edge ways as opposed to a lot of the primitive ways that are still occurring right now and i don't think people realize just how primitive some of these um, methods are uh, but what sherry's presenting is a very easy and safe way to really understand what's going on in the body. So what are some of the things you would say, Sherry, that uh, there's so many things that people need to know. There's so many things that I think as a society, uh, particularly in the Western world, that we are unaware of because we're not going to hear much of this on mainstream platforms at all. Are there some, some things there that you would say at this particular moment in time that people should understand? Well, when I listened to some of the debates, it scared me because one of them, uh, Bloomberg, I think, said the only way we're going to balance the budget is to ration things like insulin for old people. So we went to work and we found a frequency that will work as insulin. But what we're up against is greed. If somebody finds out we can do that, and we just now announced it, 
there's probably going to come after us in a way that wants to suppress that um, information. We just did another one last week with pain pills that we can now re help the body relieve its own pain through frequency. How many billions of dollars are spent every year on pain pills? So we're disturbing the big pharma's money. They're certainly going to try to prevent people from having the information. And that's why we do free classes every month for people. We give them free software and we want to teach them to do this for themselves and their family and their community and help them set up a bioacoustic center everywhere that's within reach of any humans that need it. Yes, and, and of course, these are, I mean, they are such safe methods. We're talking frequencies, but you're talking about the body's own um, support system, your body's own ability to, to make these things happen. That is so absolutely safe as opposed to the method that we have now, which is um, goes in conflict with the body. Um, the the chemicals in or what should I call it the pharmaceuticals? Pardon me. They're side effects that cause exactly. Problems. Yeah, yeah. The the other thing they're threatening us with is rationing. We're never going to run out of sound, but we could run out of insulin, and they could use that as an excuse to suppress and control people, and that's what we're trying to prevent to create a system so that everybody has access. What, and I think one of the things that um, many people are unaware of or don't understand, of, obviously we're not taught any of this in school. And when you talk about um, frequencies and being able to produce the frequency of uh, insulin, I, if you could just I, briefly explain, um, condense it as to the fact that everything does have a frequency, it measures a frequency. Most everybody has seen these detective shows where they put a little bit of blood on cotton and put it in a centrifuge and look at it and uh, take it apart and say, oh, that's carbon dioxide or whatever. They did it by the frequency that they found in the substance. So look at your brain as a central processing unit that sends through your neural network all these signals by math by frequency and we've just broken those codes so that we can give you a back of sound that goes through your skin back to your brain and your brain then resends it out to help the body perform functions for optimal form and function of your health wow i think you broke it down simply and i think that it doesn't matter who you are i think that you're able to uh have a better understanding as to what is actually going on and why this mm, would be frowned on because it's going to cut into pockets. Um, it's, it, there isn't the same production value as you'd have to put together compounds and then, you know, then charge for these compounds um, per se. So it's a completely different uh, uh, situation. It could um, really help space travel too. Oh, wow. They wouldn't have to take all those meds and whatever. They could take a frequency box with them. Oh, that's so much easier. Yes. Uh, boy, speaking of not easy, you have taken on a chunk to go against greed. And that's what it is. That's what we're talking about. Pocketbooks. And yeah. people will really go to great lengths to defend their right to have the most money in their pocket. Yeah, I mean, and if you want to have the most money, if you want to have a lot of money, that's fine. Um, if you're not doing it at the expense of other people. And uh, I think the challenge here is that doing it at the expense of other people is one situation. But when people are not educated from the get-go, from, from preschool to begin with, on understanding certain things about how the body functions or their brain or their whatever it is. It's just not taught. So it makes more people vulnerable to, um, to this kind of um, behavior. I'd like you see, to see you take that on. What's not 
taught in our schools. What happened to integrity and uh, social morals? That's a big topic too. And I think that's where it starts mm -hmm. so that they don't grow up to be the greedy person. Absolutely. Well, wow, we have come to the, the end we, of, of this very short, but I think impactful um, dialogue with Sherry Edwards. Sherry Edwards, once again, thank you so much for being here again, supporting um, health and wellness. Thank you, Sherry, for being here. I love being part of this project. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So as I said, that's a wrap. And I'm asking you once again to visit thebusinessofdisease.com um, for further details. And I do encourage you also to read the book, Health and Inside Job and Outside Business, uh, which is what Sherry had referred to um, a little bit earlier. Uh, that's the book. That's an extension of the film with each chapter written by those in the film. Very uh, well packed with information. So do check it out. Um, and there are also going to be the new t-shirts um, for the business of disease. It's perfect right now. Um, it says the business of disease, the cure is in the body, not in the business. Just wearing it, you know, is a, is a reminder to yourself and, and to other people as well. Uh, and um, what else is there for uh, just any, any other information that you'd like to know what platforms to view the film? Again, go to thebusinessofdisease.com and to keep up to date with all of these short interviews. Um, they will be also on the website. So thank you for watching and do share.